thumb news stories about network security talk about a kill switch. They say it's a button that attackers can push to shut down the equipment in telecommunications networks. You may have heard people say that some equipment could have a kill switch built right into it. Flip the switch and boom! The lights go out, the banks shut down, chaos reigns. Sounds scary, but it's not likely to work. Here's why. Reason one, equipment is tested. Network gear undergoes rigorous security testing. It's built according to shared security standards that are used around the world. It's certified by third parties, and it goes through multiple rounds of testing by independent cybersecurity organizations. Reason two, operators test and monitor networks 24 seven. Operators perform even more tests on the equipment when they install it in their networks. What's more, they shut down all the accounts that were used by vendors like Huawei to configure the new equipment. Then they scan the networks continuously 24 hours a day. If they spot any unusual activity, they immediately isolate the potential threat to keep it from spreading. Reason three, processes minimize risk. Carriers assign different teams to manage different parts of the network. Each team has one clearly defined job. Applications, for example, or fault detection. Teams can only perform operations within a very limited scope. Okay, but don't the equipment vendors get access to the network for maintenance and repairs? And couldn't they install a kill switch at that point? That's very unlikely. Operators have strict verification processes to make sure that only authorized individuals get access to the network. These include facial verification, fingerprint verification, various digital certificates, and more. Often, vendors have to use specially configured laptops that log every keystroke their engineers make. The odds of inserting malicious functionality and not getting caught are vanishingly small. Reason four, vendor diversity limits risks. Operators tend to buy equipment from multiple vendors. This makes networks more secure even if a vendor installed malware in its own equipment or software. The malware would only affect the part of the network made with that specific vendor's gear. All these defenses mean that most attackers will give up before they even start. They'll write off the idea of a network kill switch and gravitate toward simpler options. Like social engineering, where they trick someone into giving up their password, or human compromise, blackmailing somebody into giving you unauthorized access. So, a kill switch might work in a sci-fi novel or Hollywood screenplay, but it's not something that cybersecurity experts spend a lot of time worrying about. And you know what? Neither should you.